kids. My name is Sasha Nels and I am greeting you from Winslow, Arizona Restoration Church. I'm going to be sharing the children's lessons with you for the next four, four days and I am looking forward to it. We're going to have a fun time of praying together, singing together, and looking into God's Word together. So our theme for this next few days is looking to Jesus, and tonight we're going to talk about looking to Jesus for love, and we will start off with prayer at this time, and then we will have, uh, I'm going to have my daughters help me, and they're going to lead you in some songs. Okay, let's pray. Jesus, thank you so much for this time together. Thank you for all our children. Bless their hearts. Be with them, Lord. I pray you continue to protect each one. I pray, God, that you would also prepare them as they are getting ready for a new school year and all that comes with it, Lord God. We uh, place every child in your care and in your hands, Lord. Thank you again. Be with us tonight, Lord, as we look into your word. And I ask you, God, to speak to our hearts, Lord Jesus. In your name I pray, amen. Okay, well, we're going to have my daughters share songs with you. So sing along with them. Next song is Oh How I Love Jesus.
All right, so we'll end. Before we end this evening, we will go ahead and sing one of those songs again. But I just want to thank uh, my daughters for sharing those songs with us. Um, and if you have your Bibles, we're going to open up our Bibles to John chapter 3. And I want to read our scripture to you tonight. One of the most common uh, memorized uh, verses that um, people are memorized is coming from John 3.16. We're going to read it together. And it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. That's John 3.16. And so some of you may have memorized this verse. But I wonder when you say this verse, if you really, really understand the meaning behind every part of this verse. This is a really great verse to know. It tells us Jesus' whole purpose in just a few words. So let's take a minute and talk about this verse. We're going to look at the each portion for God so loved the world do you believe that do you believe that God loved the world God really does love the whole world the good the bad the rich the poor young old sick healthy angry, joyful. God loves all of us. He loves those who love him and he even loves those who hate him. Do you know why that is so important? It means you don't have to earn God's love. He already loves you, each and every one of you. And there's nothing you can do to change his love for you. Wow, that makes me feel very special. Doesn't it make you feel special? But there's something about life, even for children, even for kids. We all sin sometimes. I don't know if you've ever heard what that is, the word sin. Sin is when we do something that God doesn't like. Something that doesn't please God. Something that doesn't make God's heart happy. But did you know, it's nice to know that God still loves us even when we mess up. He's willing to forgive us. And there is, th that brings us to the next portion of our scripture. So we went over, for God so loved the world. The next part says that he gave his one and only son. God loved us so much that he gave his own son for you and for me. God knew we needed a perfect sacrifice. And he knew his son Jesus was the only one who would be that sacrifice. Why did we need that perfect sacrifice? Well, the next part of the verse says that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. With that perfect sacrifice, we can live forever with God. And that's God's biggest, biggest wish is that all of us will live with him forever. He wants nothing more 
than for you and I to be in heaven with him. God loves you so much that he was willing to send his son Jesus as your sacrifice. Jesus died on the cross so that we could be forgiven of our sin. So thinking about that, that verse, have you ever thought of that verse like that? Have you ever really thought of every part of that verse? Yes, we want to memorize that verse. And we want to really believe truly in our hearts that God does love you. He loves you so much. And we, the part that says that when we believe in Jesus, that we will have eternal life. And so I want you to think about how that makes you feel and we don't have to be perfect to believe in God and his love. We don't have to be a grown up. We don't have to be super smart. We just have to believe in God's love, put our faith and our trust in him. And also love him in return. God loves you and he wants you to love him. And there's another verse I want to share with you. It comes from 1 John chapter 4 verse 19. So you can turn your Bibles there if you have it. And you could memorize this verse too. 1 John chapter 4, verse 19. We love because he first loved us. Wow. You and I, we can love because he, meaning Jesus, first loved us. That's a very comforting to know that Jesus loves us so very much and tonight as we start off our lesson series we're going to go into some other other lessons we're going to talk about looking to Jesus for joy looking to Jesus for peace looking to Jesus for hope but tonight look to Jesus for love all of us, God created all of us to want to be loved. And sometimes we might feel like we're not loved for some reason. But God knows your situation. God knows how you feel. God knows what you're going through. And But he, tonight he wants you to know that he loves you no matter what. There's nothing that can separate you from God's love. So I want to challenge you to memorize that verse if you haven't already, John 3, 16, and then also 1 John 4, verse 19. All right, so let's sing the song, Oh, How I Love Jesus, and we will end this time um, with that song. I will um, give you some instruction on a little craft you could do for tonight but let's sing this song just thinking about our lesson tonight
Awesome. That's great. So looking ahead to the next few days, um, we're going to have more songs, teach you some new songs, and have some fun time activities on our next lesson for tomorrow. And um, we will have my son join us tomorrow probably to help us sing. Also um, tonight, if you can use a uh, construction paper find a red piece of construction paper and if you don't have red that's fine but i want you to cut out a big heart a big heart and you can decorate it or whatever you want to do but on there i want you to write oh how i love jesus because he first loved me okay so that's your activity for this evening. Make sure you uh, complete that and we'll have more in the next um, days to come. Thank you for joining us. Have a good rest of your evening. God bless you.